Next is a class on the Srimad Bhagavatam, 6th Canto, 1st Chapter, Text Number 9, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on May 10th, 1976, in Honolulu, Hawaii. The King Parikhid Maharaj said, Parikhid Maharaj is a <coughs> disciple of and Subhadeva Goswami is the spiritual master. So the spiritual master is speaking and the disciple is hearing. But in the <coughs> meantime, making some question. That is the way of understanding. Tadvidhi pranipatena pariprasnena sevaya. Upadakshanti tadhyanam jnanina tattadus. The injunction is that tadvidhi, if you want to understand transcendental subject matter, not material, spiritual, spiritual is completely unknown to us because we do not know what is spiritual. Uh, we are identifying with this body. You do not know even that I am spiritual. So where is the possibility of spiritual understanding? One cannot see himself, what he is. He is thinking I am this body, exactly like the dog. The dog is thinking I am dog. So if I think I am American, I am Indian, what is the difference? Uh, there is no difference. If one thinks that I am this body, then it is no better than Saiva Gokhara. The animals, they also think like this. I am this body. Uh, so when one understands, that I am not this body, I mean extra. Uh, that can be understood very easily if we analyze ourselves. I have several times said, beginning from your breathing, you analyze, take breathing, they say breathing they, is the life. As soon as the breathing stops, Life, more life. So does it mean that breathing is life? No. Analyze. What is this breathing? It is air. Uh, so you can get so much, so much air and put it into a machine just like uh, what is called? Bellow. And pump it through the nose. Is it possible to get life? No. In this way, item by item, you analyze this body. Now you are advanced in laboratory analyzing. Take this breathing, take this blood, take this skin, take this bone. So many things are there, ingredients. Analyze each one of them. Would you find for life? Uh, your common sense uh, that this is not life. Life is beyond this. Beyond this material. So, so called rascals, they think that this is what? This is life, combination. There are many theories. Uh, one of the theories is the combination of this matter, these bones, this blood, this skin, the veins, the stool, the urinary, there are so many things. That combination makes the life. Why, why don't you put all these other things are available? Why don't you put together and bring life? Huh? That we shall do in future, you see. What is the purpose? Therefore, we are so fools and rascals that we do not know what is spirit life, spirit. Uh, still we are passing as big scientists and philosophers, all rascals. Anyone who is thinking I am this body, he is a rascal. 
Why? Because he is the disciple and son of Vyasdi. So this is parampara. Uh, one should learn from the right person. That is perfect knowledge. We are sticking to Krishna consciousness movement because to receive perfect knowledge. Uh, if we change, if we become so rascal that what is spoken in the uh, basic literature, there is beyond something, there is virus. There is no beyond. This is perfect knowledge. Uh, so, how to take perfect knowledge? Uh, vidhi. Uh, first of all, you try to learn. Tadvidhi, how to learn, where to learn, pranipāti, you know. Fully surrender. Uh, if you find somebody that he is uh, somebody important, where you can surrender fully from him. That will be only this is our process of basic knowledge is of surrender. Not that I hear and I reject you. That is not the way. That is another aspect. First of all, find out the person where you can surrender. Surrender means you first of all can be convinced that here is a person who can give me actual knowledge. Therefore, before selecting guru, one has to convince himself that the person whom I am going to accept as guru whether he is actually uh, can give me the knowledge. Uh, that is what. Therefore, before making guru, the sister is for one year the prospective disciple should hear from the person and then decide. And similarly, the guru also see a person who is actually submissive or not. That is Vaishnava in Jantra, Hari Bhakti Vilas. Not that uh, to make a guru as a fashion. No, not do. Uh, <coughs> uh, don't keep a guru, uh, order supplying guru. No. Uh, just like somebody keeps a dog, uh, the master orders him, do this, and he does. Fashion. No, it is not passion. You must approach a guru who, where you can surrender. Otherwise, don't make guru. And the guru also should not accept such a scale as guru. First of all, the thing is surrender. But with the pranipāt, uh, the first uh, necessity is that you surrender. Uh, here you have, have seen Parikrit Maharaj, also the emperor of the world, uh, he is taking lessons from Sukhdev Goswami. Uh, Sukhdev Goswami is seated on the throne and he is seated on the ground, uh, submissive. So, does it mean that I shall become submissive and whatever my guru will say, I will have to accept? No. Paripasne, you know. Because with thee, here is the paripasne. Siraja Rupas, ask. That is intelligent. Intelligent desire. First of all, he must, it is not that he is checking the guru, how my guru is learned. No. The submission is there. Uh, but when the guru says something, he may not understand. 
That concession is the Paripusha. He is quiet. So, Sukhdeva Goswami said that you have to atone for your sinful activities before your death. Otherwise you will suffer in the next life. So Raju Bhāsa, Raju Bhāsa Rāja, the king, he was a little doubtful about this atonement. Atonement. So he is in query. Drishta sutam vyam jat papam janam napi atmano ahitam. Oroti huya vivasa prayasthitam matho katham. Sir, you have spoken about atonement. But they are doing atonement every moment. They are suffering. But he still again he is committing the same foolishness. So what is the use of this at all? That kind of the Christian church, they go to confess every weekly, so I am done. I'll give some time. And again next week again, he said, going on. So this is a very intelligent question. The atonement is there in every religion. Uh, the Vedic process, there is atonement. But uh, what is the use of this atonement? If he does not cease committing the same sinful activity. Uh, just like uh, practically we see a thief. Uh, so he knows that I am committing theft, I shall be punished if I arise. He knows it. Otherwise, why he goes silently at night and uh, break? <laughs> he knows it well. But if I am arrested, I will be punished. Sutta Abhya. Sutta means, just like we are hearing this hastra, so he has heard it from the law books, that if one commits step, he will be punished. And if he has seen also that a person who has committed theft, he is arrested by the police, uh, so he has been taken to the prison house. So here our knowledge is acquired from two sources, by direct perception and by hearing. Uh, just like we are Hearing, Srimadha Bhagavan. This is knowledge also. And uh, when you see there are three kinds of receiving knowledge. One is Suti. Suti means hearing. Uh, so our Vedic process is that we hear the Vedic uh, information and we become perfect. Suti. And somebody challenges that why should I be, believe in the Vedas? Uh, I must see. Yeah. But uh, everything is not possible to see. For example, uh, somebody, the mother said to the son, uh, here is your father. So you have to believe your mother. Otherwise how you can see your father? It is not possible. If you want to see, uh, to take the proof whether this gentleman is my father, that is not possible. Uh, because he became your father before your birth. How you can see? Uh, this is the well. You have to answer opposite. So things which are beyond our perception, we have to accept authority. Uh, therefore, the basic process is, if the world perfect order is there in the Vedas, not if anything which is in the Vedas, that is perfect. We have to accept. Uh, accept. Uh, this is the way, Vedic Suti. Uh, so, Dhrishta Sutam. Sutta means hearing, knowledge. One as the, the same thing, the 
person with he, he has seen and he has heard this just sutam man just papam. He knows what his sinful activity is. Janarnapi, he knows this is. Janarnapi, atmano ahitam. This kind of activity is injurious to my person. Karoti bhuya vibhasa. Again he comes to say. He knows. Karoti vibhasa. Prayaschuttam atu katham. Then what is the value of that? If we cannot stop this sinful activity, then where is, what is the meaning of this Christ? A professor has seen, he has gone to the prison several times, he has been punished. He still he comes the same thing, again goes to the jail. A patient, he has suffered from the disease on account of certain bad habits, and he has gone to the doctor, he has paid much money and suffered injection, operation, and he still with him. Therefore, Parikrit <coughs> Maharaj says, what is the value of this pious Krishna? Perhaps it's a kind of punishment. So, this is very important question. This is very intelligent question. And Parikrit Maharaj is with they both have a reply. But this is student. Uh, just see how intelligent question is his book. Uh, Bhusami said that for any sinful action one has to at all. Uh, so immediately catches the word. This is intelligent desire. Then what is the value of this atonement? He he cannot correct himself through Commit this sinful activity, then what is the value of that concept? Uh, it's a very nice question, we shall discuss tomorrow. Thank you very much.